Always be fashionably late. You'd make a grand entrance. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers! <laughs> Don't employ an intellectual genius and expect them to conform. Hire stupid people that'll do what they're told, but appear intelligent on paper. It's easier to market nostalgia than create brand new ideas. Wear bad criticism like a badge of honour. Don't invest in bricks and mortar. Buy a paddock in the middle of fuck all and then just live off the land value. A common mistake people make is they turn up to a specific marketplace and then try to think of products that it will sell like all the others are. Focus on building your product first and then search for the best avenue to sell it. Top 10 things you can do to fix your attitude problem. Number one, give me a call. Number two, I'll take care of the other nine. Negative people can off. If you're dining in a restaurant, it's better to order too much food than not enough, provided it's still within budget. You should see the amount of shit they throw in the bin. The good thing about having no friends is you don't have other people's bullshit to deal with. One common attitude we hear is artists rarely make money and only few make it. There's a reason for this. You see, true artists are more interested in making art than earning money. If they were interested in money, they'd be going to business school or becoming a bank manager. But no, they're too busy making art than trying to sell it. Unfortunately, we need money to live. So emerging artists are usually stuck at some fucking market stall trying to get people interested in the bullshit they can't sell, but might have a shot if they were spending more time on the art that no one cares about. You see, true artists don't make money. One exception, of course, is a bullshit artist. They make money. Why? Because they understand marketing. You see, as an attitude consultant, I can help you monetize your talent and bring it out into the marketplace. Just by simply doing my 10-week program, I will teach you how to turn your art into the cha-ching cha-ching that you need to pay those bills. A great mentor of mine, uh, some of you might remember him, Big Kev. You know, the, oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. You good old Big Kev. Uh, he taught me that we're all selling something. Big Kev, of course, was a highly successful salesperson, media personality, and he bedazzled the Australian daytime TV screens with his innovative cleaning products and infomercials. He's a good mate of mine, old uh, Big Kev. And I'm not just saying that to brag, but just by selling yourself, you too can have the passion that you need to earn those dollar dollar bills, just like Big Kev did. And the thing is, anyone can be a salesperson. You don't even need any sales skills. All you need is a product that will sell itself. Attitude. Attitude Consulting is written and performed by Rowan Harry and distributed by the Oscast Network.